cable cam is kind of a pain in the butt to set up. It's been a little tough to get the good shots, you know, like nothing's ever good enough for these directors yeah. these days. But it allows you to capture unique shots where a drone can't fly. You can be low to the ground, you can be traveling fast through tight trees, and you can use it in a heavy blizzard. It's a lot of effort to set up, but the reward is worth it. We are filming Driven, the next high-caliber snowboard movie, brought to you by the award-winning cinematographers, the pirate movie crew. Hold on to your seats, because this is the how to create an epic snowboard action film. Japan is one of my favorite places to go. Hokkaido, Japan, to be specific. Been many times, I'm gonna go many more, and there's a reason why. Really dry snow, really consistent temperatures, chest deep to nipple deep, playful terrain, beautiful trees everywhere. It's a great place to set up a cable cam. So when you're looking for an anchor point, you need a nice sturdy tree. You wanna check for rotten wood, any uh, woodpeckers or pests in there, beetles. Ah, uh, yeah, this looks like it has some beetle residents in it. Plus, there's a mass pillow up there. Oh, God. I'm not gonna choose that tree. This tree's way more solid. It even smells good. This is our girl. Yeah, baby. The first step of a cable cam is finding two solid anchor points. In our case here in Japan, we take two solid trees, put the cable in between, and under this cable, the actual sled of the cable cam. There's two operators, one driving the sled and one controlling the camera. It's the perfect storm for a perfect shot. So we're gonna run from here all the way down to that tree you can probably not see in the GoPro, way down there. Hi, right, Basti. Trying to DJ over here. You're almost out. Wait till you see the camera that goes on this puppy. She's snappy. Yeah. Usually, for those watching, it's dumping out here and it's about 10 degrees colder. And these guys are out here, no gloves, hands out, rigging shit. Animals, savages. It's all for the love. Can we please hurry up so I can go snowboarding? So, cable cam day. Number five, maybe? Quiet on the set. Feeling good about this, feeling good about this. Look, we already got the jump rope. All right. Last, he's like, please don't do that to the cable. In the director's mind, we want these snowy, just powder, storm, Japan blizzard shots. Having this difficult weather in mind, we make sure during pre-production that we come prepared. We did multiple tests with different gimbal and camera setups from a Ronin 2 with the red to a Ronin S with the black magic until we ended up trying it with the drone. Which might sound weird in the first place, but it's super lightweight and just makes things way easier for us. Especially in conditions like these. We also created a battery pack, which is basically heating itself and tailor-made rain covers for both the cable cam sled as well as the drone. All ready? Yeah, boy. Drop it! Drop it! Cable cam 101. Don't hit any trees, land your tricks, do big sprays, drop in. Okay. <laughs> oh, Victor and I just did our first runs. The snow's a little heavier, but it's fun. It's never not fun. Sometimes it's not fun. Not gonna lie. This was my first time ever using a cable cam, and I realized pretty quick that timing is everything. Especially in Japan, you have a lot of trees that are obscuring your view. 
And for us, the solution was having the filmer tell you when to drop. And the sled's already moving, rider drops right when you're in that little goalpost of trees, and you just get a magical, beautiful shot all the way around. Recording? Yeah. Okay, when you are ready, John, we would be ready. Okay, I'm airing off the little thing on top. It'll take me about three seconds to get there. Copy that. Everybody ready? Ready. Three, two, one. That's it, folks. We, we did it. We made it happen. Cable cam galore. Japan 2019, yo! Borderland! <laughs> on the next episode, we're going to Kamchatka, Russia, one of the places that's always been on my hit list. We're going to combine amazing scenery and amazing snowboarding. <laughs>